right guys, well I bought myself the 36 volt Ryobi cordless lawnmower. Um, if you've got any questions, make sure you leave a comment and I'll get back to you and answer you if I can. Uh, so yeah, the specifications, it's 36 volts. It's five amp hours, 20 minute charge time, and it runs for about 65 minutes. I get about an hour and a half really out of it. Uh, it's 460 millimeters cutting width. There's one to five settings between 20 and centimeters in height, and you get between, it actually says you get 625 square meters. Um, I don't think it's a lie. I easily get 300 square meters in my backyard. Um, in the box, you get the charger, the mower, the catcher, uh, one and a half kilo battery. It's quite big. Uh, and a heap of plastic and a heap of paperwork that comes with it, manuals and that. Uh, it's quite light, the mower. The whole weight is under 18 kilos. I think it's about 17.8 kilos. And it's very quiet. It's less than half the volume of a petrol mower, uh, around 76 uh, decibels. Uh, when you're pushing it through some hard stuff, yeah, it goes up a bit louder, but it's around 70 to 80 decibels. Um, yeah, it folds out quite nicely. It's no different to a petrol mower, this, this one. Um, you can get some smaller mowers from Ryobi, and there is one model bigger than this, but this baby is a beast. Um, you've got a kill switch, which you can take out, and I'll take it through a mow, and uh, show you how it goes. It's, it's, it's a beast, literally, for a battery, it goes sick. So let me show you how it goes, guys. Brushless, 36 volt, uh, 5 amp hour. As you can see, that's 46 centimeters. Look that, which is perfect for my backyard. Um, easy to start, press once, squeeze, they go, squeeze again. Easy start. If you've been running for a bit, and it's been, say, a minute, and you've walked and dropped the grass off, come back, it's just one go. Really easy, the good thing is, then when you walk away, it's now not using the battery, it's not using any fuel, it's now safe, kids can walk around it, and that's the beauty of it. Obviously you've got the little flap here that when that's up, and you're driving, as you can see, there's airflow, it's sweet. If that drops down and it's flat, you've got no airflow, time chains out. Uh, it's pretty simple, battery goes in here, this is a dead switch, so if you take that out, hide it somewhere, no one can start it. Kids can't start it without you uh, having that in there. Unless they're smart enough to get a bit of alfoil in there. But most kids aren't. Wouldn't know what's wrong. Uh, second thing is, you've got your five settings. I've only taken it down to two. Anything lower than two tends to be sort of like bowls green, flat. Uh, as you can see, my lawn's pretty flat. And that's on a three or a four. When I first started, it was five. And then I went the next, next time I charged the battery, I did it on a four and it used three quarters of the battery. But now I've got the lawn down nice and sweet, I can mow my whole lawn, and about a third of it again, just this one little patch just over there, again on the lower setting, and still have half the battery. So um, I really try and push it to drain the battery, because I like to drain the batteries a bit before you charge them, but um, I just can't seem to do it. And unless I run over the lawn again twice for no reason, he's uh, really getting a good, good workout. Okay, obviously, it's really nice and light. One hand, picks it straight up. As you can see, it's got two blades underneath. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the only thing I'll say is a little bit of drawback is that when you're changing the bag over, it's a little bit of a feat to get it on. It just doesn't want to clip on. You've got to put a little bit of pressure and it goes in. It's not easy, easy. I mean, my second week of using it, and if it gets a bit easier, then it gets a bit easier, but 
this feels a little bit of a pressure to go on. It's not just like a click straight on. Um, that's probably the only little drawback on it. I'll show you the fold down. So basically, that shrinks down. Now you cannot start it. Lock it. Has to be all the way out to start it. Close this off here. Okay. You can have it set there, or you can have it lower if you want to. I like to have it a bit higher. Goes over forward. That comes off. Basically, I store it like that. Because it's battery operated and there's no fuels or oils in it. Obviously, you're saving dollars on having fuels, having to maintain the oil in it and that sort of stuff. But you can store it vertically. So it takes up less space. Instead of taking up a footprint that's about a meter by about 600, it'll take up a space about this big. So that's the added bonus of it. Um, it wasn't much for Ryobi. Um, I was hoping to see if a Milwaukee came out, but I have to say this thing is a beast. Have not had any complaints. I've been mowing over all my lawn as, as hard as I possibly can. I'm going gentle on it, a bit rough, and then in some patches I pushed it, so I was pretty rough on it. And it made a little bit of a you know a bit of a complaint, but it went through it, sped up, and then kept going. Haven't had any issues with it at all. Yes, it's only my second week, but I definitely recommend. If you've got about 200 to probably even 300 square meters of grass in your backyard, which is a decent sized backyard, I've got about, say, 150 in the back and another 50 in the front, it's perfect.